Good evening, this is Mike Padua, and we are back to our analysis for this uh, Monday to Wednesday, September 20 to 22, 2021. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest uh, graph set beginning today, Monday until tomorrow, Tuesday. For the past uh, weekend, we have uh, two back to back shallow LPAs, which is now uh, weakening. Uh, the one here over the West Philippine Sea has just uh, weakened into a surface trough. And yet another shallow LPA has developed within the intertropical convergence zone, which is now oscillating central and southern Philippines. So this shallow LPA, which is located in the vicinity of the Visayas along uh, Panay and Negros Islands, will bring uh, rains and thunderstorms within the vicinity. So uh, together with the intertropical convergence zone, it will bring uh, cloudy conditions with uh, rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon and the evening. And that will be across uh, Calabar Zone, Metro Manila, Bicol Region, Mimaropa, Sulu Archipelago, Visayas, and Mindanao. And we have here a uh, weak habagat, uh, southwesterly surface wind flow, affecting uh, Sabah and the uh, southern areas of uh, Bangsamoro, okay? And uh, outside of bar, we have a long line of the intertropical convergence zone. This is an area of converging uh, trade winds, winds from the northeast and the southeast. And uh, we have a high pressure over near Hong Kong, a couple of frontal systems uh, near uh, to the south of Japan and over eastern China and uh, surface stuff here north of uh, Guam. So far we don't have any active ones, okay, except for the shallow low pressure which is expected to exit over the West Philippine Sea and through the South China Sea within the next couple of days without any significant development. Okay, now let's take a look at the fast animation. There you go, this is the uh, shallow LPA embedded within the uh, intertropical convergence zone. And another cloudiness here, which is not yet uh, expected to become an LPA. Here is the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com showing the uh, shallow LPA over the Visayas and the uh, cloudiness or thunderstorms generated by the intertropical convergence zone. Here is the uh, rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days from ECMWF courtesy of the windy.com weather app. And this is valid until Wednesday. Uh, strong thunderstorms will continue to prevail across Sulu Archipelago, Mimaropa, uh, southern Tagalog provinces including Metro Manila, Bicol Region, Visayas, and Bindanao, as well as the Kalayan Island Group and some parts of uh, Spratly Islands because of the uh, passage of the shallow LPA which is uh, located in the vicinity of western Visayas. Well, elsewhere, the rain will just be normal with some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon or evening. Now, let's take a look at the latest windy.com uh, wind forecast from the European model. This is valid for the next three days, but we are going to extend until Wednesday next week for a one-week outlook if there's any development in the Western Pacific. So far, by uh, tomorrow afternoon, we are witnessing some westerly wind flow affecting uh, southern Palawan and the Sulu Archipelago moving into the uh, Visayan uh, coastal areas as the uh, shallow LPA will be uh, over this area. Okay, moving towards the west, west, northwest. And uh, on uh, Wednesday afternoon, the shallow LPA is, is now to the north of the Karayan Island Group moving out to the Philippine area of responsibility as it moves towards the area of uh, Vietnam. And we have a developing low pressure area southeast of Guam by Wednesday. And if we move forward using the uh, European model uh, forecast, okay, there you go. You have, you have now a broad LPA there to the southwest of uh, Guam, moving towards the Philippine area of responsibility on Friday. And it's a shallow LPA and it will uh, start to uh, weaken once again once it reaches the uh, Philippine Sea. But if we look to the northwest of Guam, we have a uh, possible development of a tropical cyclone. There you go. It could become a tropical depression on Sunday, September 26. 
and then it will uh, transform into a tropical storm on Monday after remaining quasi-stationary between Sunday to Monday. September 28, it will become a strong tropical storm moving north but away from any landmass. So this is outside of the Philippine area of responsibility, north-northwest of Guam. And on Wednesday, September 29, it will start to move towards the uh, northwest in the general direction of the southern islands of Japan. Now that's the European model. If we take a look at the uh, American model, it's, it's also there, but it will be earlier, the development will be earlier, that will be on Friday or Thursday or Friday, September 23 to 24, and on Saturday and Sunday it will already be a very powerful uh, cyclone, either a, a typhoon or super typhoon, based on the uh, American model, and it will start to move towards the north, to uh, northwest in the general direction of Japan. So it's a different take on both models, but most likely during the last few days of September, we might be uh, seeing another uh, moderate or powerful tropical cyclone heading towards the uh, either the southern islands of Japan or the Japanese mainland. Okay, so uh, we will focus on that system in the coming days, but... For the Philippine Islands, it's good news. There will be no direct effect from that uh, possible formation. So the weather over the Philippine Islands uh, during the power, uh, during the uh, remaining days of September will be variable winds with the usual isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. So there you go. That's the latest for this uh, Monday evening, September 20th. And we will return on Wednesday, September 22, to give you more updates on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padre reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.